Amit, Tripti, and Pinto have had a busy day ahead. Just like other people, they enjoy work and leisure. But the world is all about scenes and colors. This is because they're hearing impaired artists based in the Indian capital of New Delhi. Life has not been a cakewalk for them. These artists have often been the center of stares and jibes. Yet they thrive with their beautiful sketches and photographs. Deaf people in India face a lot of stigma and social ostracization. When it comes to their employment, most of the people look at it in terms of them getting mechanical assembly line production jobs. But here, we bring to you the life stories of three deaf artists who have overcome social barriers to create their own identity and become art entrepreneurs in their own right. When Amit was five, he began to develop a knack for art. His father was a newspaper editor, and from an early age, Amit had a strong interest in newspapers and cartoon strips. He also liked watching television, where he said he picked up plenty of ideas. With an education from the Delhi College of Arts, Amit has participated in many art exhibitions in the country. He used to be nervous when people asked him what he did for a living. But since he received a name card identifying him as an artist, he simply flashes it and there would be no more awkwardness. I was always inclined towards portraits and uh, human figures, more, more of it. Like the humans and portraits and caricatures. And, and nature. Different, different ideas I started picking up. So whenever I used to dream, uh, sleep, I always had the, these things in my dream coming. And yeah, I became a cartoonist basically. So I started making a lot of uh, exaggerated expressions in humans. And I started using those expressions in my sketching and in my art form. Amit has been striving to win recognition for deaf artists. And he dreams of becoming well known. With his skills of writing abstracts with colors, Amit aims to integrate sign language into his drawing. So I, I'm very fond of abstract and human yeah. figures. So my ideas about the future and my artwork would be something that I see from a daily routine of a deaf person, like a life of a deaf person, the problems or the things that we see and I personally experience. It could be walking on the street, it could be not listening to voices. And I want those uh, daily things to be depicted in my art form. Tripti was born in the city of Indore in central India. She's won many art competitions since she was a little child. She's also an international chess champion. Tripti moved to Delhi after getting married. The experience inspired her to trace her dream to be an independent artist. For Tripti, the major challenge of being a deaf person is social interaction. She says that it's hard for her to make friends, hardly anyone knows sign language, and no one wants to talk much through writing. So basically, yes, being, being a deaf artist myself, I have experienced the problem in communication. Although I'm very good at my skills, I have a very perfect skill set. But then uh, there was nobody to communicate with me. Like even if I tried to write and talk to them, uh, nobody was really ready to uh, accept that, uh, that, you know, sort of communication. So yeah, I have completely figured that despite of being a person who is competitive in terms of skills, communication has always been a hindrance for me. Pinto comes from the Indian city of Kolkata. He had a difficult childhood, most of which he spent in orphanages and foster homes. After he was 18, he went to Delhi to search for a job. He had worked for an NGO for 10 years, then discovered his passion for photography. He loves portrait and wildlife photography, but has struggled to gain a foothold in the field. It's, it's quite hard, like, it's definitely not very easy. I have not, not even heard of any uh, job profile or any work given to deaf photographers ever, like, I've not even seen. Now I am trying for it, I'm striving for it to get projects and get clients or work which they will accept a deaf photographer there. Simriti Nagpal works with deaf artists. She said a stereotypical mindset in how deaf artists are perceived exists in India. I think for deaf artists, we have that very typical stereotype and cliched mindset that they can only work in this targeted NGO sector where they will get employment. And that's also more out of the pity and the sympathy that people buy their products or paintings. But that definitely needs to be like shed because they are at par with any other artist.